This one's for all of the power users out there. If you love customization and control, uBlock Origin is going to be your best friend. uBlock Origin is a free open source ad blocker that gives you complete control over what you see online. It's super lightweight, so it won't slow down your browser, and it's incredibly efficient at blocking ads, trackers, and even malware. So how does it work? Well, once you install uBlock Origin, you can start blocking ads immediately. But where it really shines is in its customization options. You can fine tune everything, create your own filters, choose which elements to block, and even block specific scripts. It's perfect if you're someone who likes to tweak the settings to get things just right for your browsing experience. So here's another scenario for you. You're on a site that you visit regularly, but it's filled up with annoying ads and pop-ups. Well, with uBlock Origin, you can create custom rules to block all of those annoyances while still enjoying the content that you love. And again, if there's a site that you want to support, then you can easily whitelist that URL so that its ads will still show up and you can support that website or content creator. And speaking of whitelists, uBlock Origin makes it super easy to manage them as well. Just a few clicks and you're able to support your favorite content creators while keeping the rest of your browsing experience completely ad-free. This balance is crucial because as we know, ads are a primary revenue source for many websites. The biggest pro? customization. You can tailor uBlock Origin to work exactly how you want it to. And it's also free, which is always a nice plus. Now, when it comes to the downsides, all of these customization options that make it so good for some might be a bit overwhelming for a non-techie individual. But don't worry, even with the default settings, it is incredibly effective. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know down in the comment section which ad blockers you were using or planning to try yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.